Good morning! And nasa day 17 na po tayo sa pag-aaral natin ng 40 Days Purpose Driven Life. Okay, so kahapon po, natutunan natin that what is life without love? No? So, napaka-importante po talaga ng pagmamahal or pag-ibig sa buhay ng isang tao. And the best way or the best expression, the best way to express your love is to spend time with the people that you love. Sabi nga, even if you provide for their needs at ibigay man lahat ng kanilang pangangailangan, somehow, gusto pa rin nila na makasama ka to spend that time with you. So, let's go. Let's uh, love one another no? and spend time with the people that we love. Okay. So, sa day 17 naman, uh, is, it talks about ano, being a member of a local church and the title on day 17 is a place to belong uh, yung first na word ng this uh, first na phrase ng day 17 is you are called to belong not just believe of course when you become a believer of jesus christ ang next step po nun is to belong to a local church so because hindi po tayo magsusurvive as a Christian kung mag-isa lang natin. It really is very important for us to become part of a local church or a church community or a church family. Dahil, ang church po, hindi naman po yun yung building kung saan tayo nag-worship or saan tayo nagkakaroon uh, ng uh, Sunday services. It's not the chapel, it's not the, um, it's not the building. The church is actually the body of Christ. So body, ibig sabihin nun, ay may kanya-kanya, ay may organs or may mga parts of the body. And if we become believers, we should be part of that body. Because, of course, an organ cannot um, uh, function by itself. No, so, when we become Christians and we become believers, we are encouraged to join a local church or um or a church family. Because um, pag na uh, kunwari natanggal yung, yung aking finger at uh, na separate sa body, mamamatay po yan. It will shrivel and die. So, uh, we should become part of the family. Kumbaga nga, sabi ko, yung heart ko, hindi yan magpa-function kung walang mga connections na veins at walang blood na magpa-flow sa mga veins na yan. So, every part of my body has a different function. And so, if we become believers, we become part of that body of Christ. So, meron din po tayong function. At may, meron tayong, uh, meron tayong dapat gawin for the body of Christ. Okay? And the uh, and yeah, um, we are asked to be a member of a local church. Or kung ano po yung kung nasaan ka and uh, uh, kung mas maganda po talaga na tayo ay uh, nas, uh, member na isang church na malapit sa atin. No? Parang physically po, nakikita natin din yung ibang mga members, nakakausap natin sila, at nagkakaroon tayo ng fellowship with one another. Okay? So, uh, the Bible offers many compelling reasons no, for being committed and active in a local fellowship. Uh, but for for this purpose, no, uh, basahin ko na lang yung ano yung sinabi ni Rick Warren. Why do we need to be part of a church family? Why we need a church family? And I remember po, nung, siguro nung anniversary natin, I think na nabigyan ko na rin po ng konting intro ito. And uh, because we were asked to uh, bring one, each one bring one, no? Sabi ko nga, well, there are some reasons pang encourage natin sa mga tao para maging part sila ng church. Maging uh, uh, 
kailangan din sila maging member. Uh, and, and for, uh, for, for, for today naman, we will read from the book, ano yung reasons na nilista ni Rick Warren. Number one, sabi niya, a church family identifies you as a genuine believer. So, dito mapapatunayan na ikaw ay totoong believer. Pagkat sabi niya ni Jesus Christ, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. So, in other words, sinasabi ni Jesus Christ, hindi kita disciple kung hindi uh, kung hindi mo uh, hindi kayo nagmamahalan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, meron kang ibang mga kasama. Ano? Uh, hindi lang ikaw. Hindi naman yung sinabi. Uh, your love for yourself ano, will prove that you are uh, my disciple. But no, he said, your love for one another. So, may sabi nun, marami. So, magiging proof po na tayo ay true believer or true followers of Jesus Christ pag tayo ay nagmamahalan. So, ibig sabihin nun, kailangan tayo maging member talaga ng isang local church or isang church community or isang church family. A church family, I'm reading po ito, moves you out of self-centered isolation. Ito pong COVID, no? Ang tinuro po sa atin talaga mag-quarantine or isolate. So, tinuruan po tayo, binig- uh, tinuruan po tayo na matakot, no? Na magkaroon ng interaction with other people. And, uh, hindi ba, uh, mas nakakalungkot yun, yung mga tao nga po na nag-quarantine talagang it was very, very hard for them, no? Na naka-isolate sila. So, thank God talaga na meron pa rin tayong community na who took care, took care of us in times of uh, need, no? Na uh, tayo man po ay uh, nag-undergo ng isolation or ilangang uh, nag-quarantine sa mga bahay-bahay natin pero meron pa rin po tayong uh, way or method para tayo ay makapag-communicate, i-share pa rin ang word ng Panginoon sa bawat isa. So, ganun po, pag ikaw ay member or ikaw po ay my church family, katulad po ng CHCC, patuloy pa rin po yung feeding sa'yo. No? Patuloy pa rin yung, yung uh, pagmamalasakit ng mga ibang members sa'yo. So, uh, and, and the ang totoo po niyan talaga sa CHCC, we have a very, very strong community. Ano na, uh, we really um, share in each other's burden. Napatunayan ko po to so many times in my life, no, na um, just kung kila- kailangan mo talaga ng mga kasama, kailangan mo ng um, magpipray para sa iyo nandiyan po yung community kung kailangan mo ng karamay if you are um kung if you lost a loved one nandiyan po din talaga yung community to comfort you so we really are very blessed it's ACC to be part uh to be part of a church family dahil they will care for you hindi na lang sarili mo yung iniisip mo of course uh, pag naging part ka rin ng community talaga, ma-encourage ka din to help others. So, hindi na lang po self-centered uh, yung, hindi ka na self-centered kundi po, magiging uh, part ka nga ng community at magiging part ka ng burdens ng mga members din ng, fam- ng church family. A church family helps you develop spiritual muscle. Ibig sabihin po nun, nag-grow ka spiritually. Alam niyo po, uh, pwede mo namang aralin, no, uh, yung Bible by yourself. Minsan, pwede namang makinig ka lang sa, sa church service, sa pastor. Pero, alam mo, um, and uh, I've, uh, I've uh, also experienced this, no, sa pag-aaral namin ng Genesis. No, may, may, uh, if you have to be a part of it, no, meron tayong uh, 
pag-aaral ng Genesis uh, every Sunday at 3 o'clock kung gusto niyo pong mag-join. Hindi po nga po, uh, uh, marami kami natutunan ano, kasi we share yung perspective sa isang verse ko na rin. So, pinag-aaralan namin. And, uh, ma- pag binansa mo kasi uh, yung, yung Bible in your own understanding, ano, pwede rin naman na uh, uh, ikaw ay nakinig sa pastor at yun din yung sinabi niyo. But if you learn it with the family or your church family, talagang yung, yung growth spiritually, ano, ang, ang sarap kong mag-aral with uh, with uh, in my case nga yung with the sisters no, kasi pag narinig ko rin yung mga perspective ng ibang mga kasama namin dun sa Bible study and ko wow oh nga no and, uh, and just to uh, share din no? I think we've shared this so many times ang um, church na hill po nabuo dahil sa isang Bible study and if we look at ourselves you know uh, we, we're still work in progress. Marami pa pong kaya may kailangan pag-aralan. Pero yung, yung pong, uh, I think, kahit naman pa paano, nag-grow din kami, nag-grow kami spiritually. Wala nung kami nag-start mag-aral 17 years ago. To now, no? Kung baga para kung meron naman po kami nakikita ang growth spiritually. So if you become part of a family of Christ or a church family, expect mo talaga mag-grow ka. Okay? Pero kailangan talaga maging part ka din uh, nung mga pag-aaral na yun. Uh, maging part ka ng mga Bible studies, yan, mag-join ka din sa mga activities para talaga mag- mag-grow ka. You grow, uh, you develop spiritual muscle. Okay? In that same manner, no, the body of Christ needs you. Sabi nga natin kanina, we are different organs, we have different functions, we have different talents, skills. So, iba-iba po talaga, and the body needs you. Kung baga, hindi, hindi naman kasi ako marunong magsalita, hindi naman lahat kailangan maging preacher. Hindi kasi ako marunong kumanta, hindi naman lahat kailangan maging worship leader. Hindi naman ako marunong kumanto, hindi rin naman po lahat yan. We have a lot of ministries in the church, and the church needs you. The body of Christ needs you. Marami pa po tayong kailangan gawin. Marami pa po tayong kailangan ma, ma-reach out ng mga tao. And the church or the body of Christ needs you. Okay? Of course, sabi ko nga marami tayong kailangan reach out. Because that is the mandate para sa atin, ang Christ Commission talaga na tayo ay mag-evangelize. At yun nga, ang ganda po ng uh, ang, uh, ating uh, ang battle cry ng CCC na shine. Yun nga, saturate the schools, heal the homes, influence the industry, nurture the nations, and evangelize the earth. So, marami tayong uh, hilangang gawin no? uh, to share uh, in, in evangelizing for Jesus Christ. No? Na kailangan natin talaga, if hindi naman necessary na pumunta tayo mag-preach uh, to evangelize the world, uh, the earth, no? pero we can also, kailang, if you are a student, pwede rin naman sa school. If you are a homemaker, no, uh, pwede rin naman sa mga sa family mo. At yun nga yung ginagawa natin na Ecclesia Devotion gabi-gabi. Ano. And uh, if you are also working, pwede rin na maging part ka ng ministry do sa loob ng industry kung saan ka belong. Okay? So, yun po. We all share in that. No, we all share in that. We all have our own purpose or function para po ma-spread ang word or gospel at uh, mai ma-reach out pa natin yung mga unreached yung mga places po na hindi pa nakakarating ang gospel. Okay. 
Also, last, I think ito yung last, a church family will keep you from backsliding. Ito po ba yung backsliding? Ito po yung believer ka na, tapos, uh, na-fall ka ulit into sin or temptation. So, nag-backslide uh, ka. No? So, umalis ka ulit sa faith. And nakakalungkot po, marami po talaga, especially po siguro nitong pandemic, you know, ang dami pong nag-backslide. Because po, um, marami din po kasi na-apektuhan ng mga churches. Na they were members of uh, ano, a church community, pero dahil hindi na rin masustain yung uh, community, ano, hindi na sila nakakapag-meet. So, marami po yung bumalik ulit sa dating mga buhay. But if, ayun nga, um, if you are a member of a church, the church family has also that responsibility na kailangan i-ensure nila na um, i-kunin ka ulit nila. Ano, and you, although dahil yun nga, the Lord is a very for, is a forgiving God. So, sino naman yung church para hindi ka i-forgive? So, magkamali na tayo. If we have a community, we just go back to the community or the church uh, family. And, of course, willing naman talaga tayo silang itake as back. As now as we uh, ask for forgiveness and repent. Huwag na natin gawin yung kasalanan na yun. Okay? So, Ayun yung mga reasons na binanggit ni uh, Iquaren kung bakit tayo kailang maging member ng church. And kung ito po ay member ng church, meron kang choice to become a church member uh, or a church attender, sabi ni uh, Rick dito. No? Ano daw po yung difference ng church attender at church member? Ang difference daw po is commitment. Attenders are spectators. Are spectators parang ano lang po sila. <laughs> Nakikiusi lang. And from the silence mo, bakit may sweat tabi-tabi lang no? hindi hindi talaga. Alam mo yun yung pag may away, <laughs> nando ka lang, usi ka lang, usi. And then, and yun po ang attenders. Pero ang members, sabi, they get involved in the ministry. So they get involved in the ministry. So, ang attenders na po are consumers. <laughs> Ikaw lang yung talagang uh, kain, ng, kain lang. Ano, <laughs> consumer, no? But members are contributors. Okay, so, pag member ka, magkocontribute ka din. Hindi ka lang consumers. So, because attenders, sabi ni Rick, is sila lang yung mga, gusto lang nila yung mga benefits of the church. Pero, ayaw nila makishare sa responsibility. Okay? But, yun nga, it's still a choice. Uh, dahil, I think today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. We choose it. Ano? It's our choice. Do we want to be a member? Or just an attender? So, that one po, we are supposed to belong to a church. No? We are, if we are believers, we should belong to a church. But not only should we belong to a church, but we should also be committed members. Yan lang po. At maraming salamat ulit sa pakikinig uh, sa salita, uh, sa wisdom from, uh, from the book. You know, so, let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Maraming salamat po at uh, pinakita mo sa amin na kailangan nga po kami maging member ng isang church upang makita na kami ay isang tunay na disciple mo. At maraming salamat po sa pagbibigay din sa CHC sa sa amin at true church family at true Christian community po kung saan lahat ay nagtutulungan sa lahat ay uh, uh, nagagamit mo sa ministry Lord, and we pray kung sino mo po nakikinig ngayon to become part of a local church at hindi lang po maging part kundi po maging member 
na nagpo-contribute din po sa ministry ng church. Thank you, Lord, and we pray na patuloy mo kami i-bless sa pag-aaral namin uh, ng purpose namin sa mundong ito. And thank you, Lord, for the wisdom. And thank you, Lord, din po sa mga nakikinig ngayon. Sana ma-bless natin sila at uh, uh, maging maganda ang kanilang umaga. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.